I'm a man of substance. Because I'm the workmanship of God in Christ Jesus. I am excellent. Because I'm the workmanship of God in Christ Jesus. I confess. I'm a joint heir with Christ. The world is mine. I declare that all things are mine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Verse 20. Stop. And he closed the book. He wasn't through yet. The Bible says that Jesus went into the synagogue as his custom was. And he was delivered the, the scroll to read. And he turned to the book of Isaiah and found the place where it was written the spirit of the lord is upon me i want you to listen to what he read for he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor that's good gospel good news to the poor he had sent me to heal the brokenhearted that's something good all right to preach deliverance to the captives uh-huh recovery of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised to preach the acceptable year of the Lord then he closed the book okay let's go find out where he read from and what actually was there you ready he read from the book of Isaiah that's Isaiah chapter number 61 there's what he read from from verse 1 Book of Isaiah chapter 61 from verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord had anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Good tidings, that's the word gospel. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim, listen, verse 2. Read it for me. One, two, go. cut out vengeance you didn't notice it's the same verse he hadn't completed what Isaiah said Isaiah said to preach the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance and Jesus said to preach the acceptable year of the Lord and close the book What was he saying? He didn't come for judgment. He didn't come for vengeance. He came to save God's enemies and God's friends. Everybody. He came to save everybody. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. That though he was rich, for your sakes he became poor. That he through his poverty might become rich. For God so loved the world. The world. Not Christians. Not believers. Not Jews. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever. Anybody. Who believes in him. Should not perish. But have everlasting life. That's why he came. He said the son of God is not come. The son of man is not come. To condemn the world. The same word translated condemn means judge. He's not come to judge the world, but that the world might be saved through him. That's why he says, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, the message of his grace, because Jeremiah brought the message of his judgment. Isaiah had some of it too, like we just noticed. So he said, the word of his grace, I commend you to the word of his grace, the message of his grace. That what you didn't qualify for has been made available to you. You still there? Sometimes, you know, we feel, we wish we could just pack this stuff, you know, and stuff it into some folks. You know? 
I can't understand. I believe all these things. I can't understand why my life is like this. I pray, 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 pray. I believe, 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 believe. I can't understand why things are going like this. God said he is with me, but I can't see how he is with me. <laughs> you are living on the wrong side of the street. <laughs> oh my goodness. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Anyway, our subject is the purpose of Christ. Why did he come? What's he doing here? Hebrews chapter 2. You know, I read some of these things and I shout, Oh God! Oh! Oh! Uh, Hebrews chapter 2. Feeding on the word of God. 